Jenny Morin, professional organizer, and my business is Efficient Spaces. I've been organizing for 12 years, and this is a fun project that I've been working on with Kathy. I'll let her tell you a little bit about it. Well, um, I had an overwhelming job that needed done, and so very fortunately, I had heard Jenny speak somewhere and decided to give her a call. And it, it's just been the best thing that ever happened <laughs> to me because I've been able to get through my junk and all the stuff I've moved around for years and get it sorted out and packed up. And it's, it's been absolutely wonderful. <laughs> all right, so we're going to show you the house. Well, come on and let's get started. Hey, here we are in Kathy's office. And this office is a work in progress. So we started by setting up her files right over here. We have moved all of her files from her old place into this home and labeled them all. So we have a pretty good filing system set up. The problem is that a lot of times things will accumulate and uh, we, do, we end up with bills and other projects on the desk. So today, I hope that we can get to some of this, at least in her main work areas. I always start with the flat surfaces of the room, especially the work area. So a lot of times we, we will start here and work our way out to the less used areas. Um, and then um, we can move to outlying areas like the couch and the floor in front of the couch. But since this isn't crucial to her working in her office, I would save this until last. So that's how I would work this room. Here we are in the living room and this is a bunch of boxes that were brought in by the movers. Some of them do belong in here, but a lot of them I've noticed actually are gonna end up in the office, which we'll be in in just a little while. And I've, here I, you can see that I've set up my sorting boxes. So when we have a project like this where things are going to be going to different rooms, we have some boxes. Usually I just have one put away box, but in this case, because it's a move, I might have one box for each room. So I've set up quite a few. This one is going to be the main put away or kind of the miscellaneous put away box because it's different from the others. This will go to uh, her husband's office and these other ones will either be bathroom or another room in the house. If anything for the office, these boxes are already marked, we're probably just going to transport the whole box to the office after we go through it. So also we have to set up trash bags, tra black for trash, and clear for thrift store. That's the system that I use so that we don't get confused. And now we're just going to get started. I know Kathy well enough, we've been working together long enough that I can tell the, usually the kinds of papers that she needs to keep. And we do keep the tax records, anything that relates to taxes we keep for seven years, but there are a lot of things that we can get rid of. Either they're duplicates or the information is so old it's outdated, something that you can get on the internet, internet. and in that case we'll just go ahead and either shred it or recycle it depending on if it's sensitive information or not. Can you look at those? Oh boy. See how old they are. And I bet. Oh, photos. I can't imagine. Anything you don't want or you think is like throwaway or recycling, you can just throw it in that box right there. Uh, no, I can use it. It's a watch band. It, it is a watch band. I think. It is important. It goes to my iWatch. Does it go to your... Okay, so that's a keep. Notice the keep box is tiny. Right tiny. Okay. Oh. Uh, can we throw these away? Oh, no. I use them all the time. Well, let's test one and see if it's still wet. Okay. I think so. Yes, because I just... One of these from the box out here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As she's looking at paper, I will look. There's nothing in these. 
pre-sort for Kathy. I get go through and I just got rid of a bunch of magazines, which I know she's not going to want. Um, if I see anything with her name and address on it, we shred that if it's old. And if it's a pertinent a current document, then we file it in her filing system. So this needs to be shredded. And this doesn't because it doesn't have her name on it. file I discovered is actually mislabeled. It says health and fitness, although I did write Kathy Medical here. I think we did that in our fast purge right before she moved. So what I do to recycle files, if there's a sticky label here, don't bother. But if it's blank, you can go ahead and flip it around and write the new name right here. That saves a lot. Okay? Yes. Yeah. All right, we just emptied this box. Yay. Yay. And I discovered it's a collapsible box. These are the best. They are. I love those. <laughs> One of the things that's been really helpful for me is that I have some back issues and I, they're getting into boxes and moving boxes have really been something I couldn't do. And Jenny is very good about, in fact, she scolds me if I try and lean down into a box <laughs> and, and I'm glad she does. But, um, but she always makes sure that the boxes are up so that I don't have to bend over them. Just like this, she turned this upside down so that I could put boxes on top of this to sort. And um, it's just a great help. With organizing, it's important to remember that it's going to get worse before it gets better. So take a look at this room. <laughs> and, you know, obviously, we ha I took a few things out, but in order to really sort everything, we have to have boxes with, this is David's office. This one we just discovered. We have to see if that's really what it says. We brought this in from the living room. This is also files that need to be put away, which we brought from the living room. So it does look worse before it looks gets better, but I always leave my clients feeling uh, that things are put away at least into their sorting boxes as much as possible we put them in their homes where they're going to live from then on but we don't leave a mess because that's very discouraging to have that between sessions I'm just reminding Kathy about her files where everything is um, so I'm not sure any filing has gotten done since I've been in here last so we this is where all of her household bills and the files that she's in pretty often are so we've got business uh, business cards and services, we got the banks, we've got credit cards, phone bills, at utilities and all of that is up here. As well as medical, the insurances uh, and that type of thing. The bottom file drawer is don't, don't more... Don't out too far. <laughs> yeah, this is, this, this is not the best file drawer. No, it's not. Okay, so the bottom is really her personal things and her interests. So that's what the lower file drawer is. So I'm gonna leave this open so that you can easily file your stuff. Okay. Again. It's over here. And when I asked Kathy, where did this come from? She told me. It's a combination of my stuff and my husband keeps putting stuff on top of my file there. Okay. So it's Yeah, so we have to deal with this. And one thing that's really important is I think um, respecting each other's space yeah. in the house um, and so we've talked they've talked about it but so now this is just extra extra work and time to go through this very random kind of mishmash pile of stuff it looks like so it's unfortunate but if you can at all if you can make it possible in your house that everybody has their own space and that that space is sacred. That's a good idea. Yeah, that would be that would be a great situation to have. And hopefully we can get there. Yeah. <laughs> we need to create a new file. So she had these pre-labeled uh, filing system, but we already have mortgage and bank in a file in here. And I discovered, oh, I already used that and then obviously didn't need it. So I can use this side. 
because I can't see through there. I can't see the marker through there. So this is okay. So I'm going to relabel this one, repurpose this for the new file on her uh, memorabilia from high school. Jimmy has saved me a lot of money. Uh, I had two 20 by 40 storage lockers full. And uh, with her help, we got one of those storage lockers and the costs associated with that, you know, were completely empty. Empty, yeah. And um, so, and I still have another one that we're working on, but uh, once we get moved into the house, we'll go back to that. Right. But it's been a huge savings financially. Yeah, we, we think it was. I think you said it was either 230 or 260, 260 a month now. Uh -huh. for those. So it's been about a year. So you do the math. That's quite a chunk of change that she's been saving every month for a year. Mm -hmm. And on and to perpetuity yeah. is, is saving, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yes. So it's great. <laughs> Kathy just discovered this and as we were filing some things this is the move plan that I created for her and her family because her grown children and their spouses came down to pack up the other house and bring everything here so this is the detailed move plan that I created for her and I'm gonna put it in the organizing file okay you can see what we did today we did not get the couch area done um, but I actually, because of the big stack of papers that ended up here from another source in the house, I want to fill in this area, which is kind of the opposite of what I usually do. But trying to break habits here, and so I created a barrier. We put some books in the back. This is actually a solution because it's a piece of granite. Because when you open the file drawer, sometimes this this will this whole thing will tip, which is dangerous. So we put some weight at the back here. We put a decoration right here. And here's my solution for the papers that the husband brings in. This is David's inbox. So the, the hope is, and we're gonna ask him not to fill it above this line. Please. Action. Yeah. So this is Kathy's area. You can see, we'll just kind of scan it. This is her work area. She still has a few things she's working on right here. This is her bills to pay in the gray container and her sorting unit here, which is actually pretty useful for her. She keeps her glasses and other things. Here's my list for her for sorting. These are the categories that we want her to set up when she's sorting on her own. Mm -hmm. Trash, give away, keep, and put away. Those are, so you need a container for each one of those. I set this up for her because she has a file, a desktop file over there that wasn't real, she wasn't really looking at. And so we found these files that are pretty old. They're at least a month old. Follow up this week, which I set up for her before she moved. Call, that is also about the same time frame. And this to do one. So we're gonna we're gonna put urgent papers right in the front here. So if there's something she needs to deal with that day, it's going to go right here. Okay, and this is her follow-up this week file. People to call and other to-dos, like older to-dos, things that can wait a little bit longer, maybe a week or two. Oh my gosh! Is it, it all the boxes are gone? Did we get rid of all those boxes? This is wonderful. <laughs> oh, Jenny! This is fabulous. I didn't have any idea that we would get this much done today. I know. And I have a, and I have a place to work at my desk. This is wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> so here we are in the purged living room. We've put some stuff in the office and other things went to other rooms in the house using the handy dandy put away box. So this is what we can accomplish in just a little while. We've been here three hours. We did this and the office. So get motivated, get inspired, and get organized. No job is too big or too small. Whether you're residential or commercial, I can help you whatever size project you've got. 
So call me today and we'll get started.